It's a moment of intense concentration, anticipation, and maybe a little fun. This is no ordinary competition. These young athletes share something in common. They all have intellectual disabilities. Today is a special day for people like Awu and his mother, Wang Xiaogong. There was a time when they had no event like this to go to, very few people to talk to, and little support from the community. Awu is 24 years old. He loves music, especially Korean pop. His disability was diagnosed as autism and moderate mental retardation. He doesn't speak much, and when he does, it's repetitive. <laughs> Intellectual disabilities are characterized by below average intelligence and difficulty doing the things necessary for daily living. Experts point to many causes, like genetics or any condition that can slow development of the brain before or during birth or in early childhood. But many mysteries remain. Growing up, Awu attended primary school and had a positive experience. But when he reached middle school, teachers treated him more carefully and he wasn't allowed to play with classmates or participate in activities. But in 2005, things changed. His family moved to Washington, D.C. when Awu was a teenager. His mother saw how people like her son were included in American society, and it sparked something inside her. But Wang says when they left the U.S., Awu got worse. The support he had was gone. So she started a parents' organization called Wrong I Wrong Le. The group gives parents of children with intellectual disabilities something they didn't have before, a forum for parents to talk about their issues and the challenges of caring for their children. Wrong I Wrong Le also organizes events where parents, children, and volunteers can play together. It helps the children learn how to develop social skills, something that's usually missing and desperately needed in their lives. According to the International Labor Organization, five and a half million people in China have an intellectual disability. Half of them are at an age where they can work, but most of them stay at home with their families. But organizations like Rong Ai Rong Le are giving them the training and skills they need to get them out of isolation and into the world. Da Peng heard about Rong Ai Rong Le in 2013. It helped him get a job at a high tech company. His mother says she noticed a change in him, and the first time he got paid, it was a big deal. He 
。然后那天我说好，今天要好好庆祝一下。我们两个倒了红酒哈，碰杯，庆祝我儿子今天拿了工资回来了。这个是我这样的，他也三十岁了哈，我养育了他这么三十年，确实不简单。他第一次拿他自己挣的钱回来，对我这个当妈妈的来说，真是一件非常欣慰的事。家门前的那个状态了，嗯，都没事儿。Daopong is on the milder end of the disability spectrum. He has congenital movement disorder and borderline cerebral palsy. From a young age, as he tells it, his parents and teachers saw that he had an excellent memory, but was slower in other areas. Da Peng attended university and writes songs and poems. With the training he's received and the skills he's developed, his mother believes he can live on his own someday. Oh,我们的大家，我们的大家。我发现他还是嗯很会说，他嘴巴的那个口才非常好。嗯，那我就希望他这个能力能用上，比如他的音乐的爱好什么都能使用上，那当然更好。如果没有这样一个适合我们发